Welcome, everyone, to the 12 Days of Anime, where I will kick it off by talking about not anime. Yeah, I know it's weird, but uh, stick with me. This year, I've been less interested in anime than I was. Been a bit burned out on it. It felt like so many of the new shows were just like cliche and uninteresting, even more than normal. And even the shows that were supposed to be something new and novel and amazing. A place further than the universe was really just a slice of life with some unique settings. Megalo Boxing was just a sports anime with some style and grit. Grand Blue and Maha Shoujo Ori were just plotless comedies with a kind of unique setup. And then there's Revue Starlight, a show about friendship and following dreams, with some action thrown in to be different. And then there are all those other comedies which some people like, but I just found nothing special about them. And now I'm not saying that all these shows are bad or I'm trying to bash them. That's not my point here. I like a lot of them to at least a degree. They just don't really excite me because I've seen so many things like them before. I made a video back in spring talking about how I was just feeling burnt out and disappointed by the spring season. And there's some comments about how I should try some non-anime things. Well, a couple weeks later, I came across a comment on Reddit about the show The Good Place. The comment said that at first it looked like a tacky comedy, but that was, and I quote, it turns out to have an incredible script, a concept worthy of Douglas Adams, and creates a multidimensional sci-fi universe that puts into question everything we accept about reality. Well, that got my interest. Plus, at the time, I was at an airport, had a few hours till my flight, and I had Netflix. So I figured, why not try this show? And then I managed to binge both seasons of it in less than a week. Yeah, it's a good show. By the way, don't read Wikipedia about it. There are spoilers there. So what makes it so good, or how do I even describe it to you in a way that doesn't spoil it? Well, that's what today's video will be about. And more importantly for today's topic, so it ties into anime and all that, what does it do that anime can't or just doesn't? Well, let's talk about the premise. It basically is about these characters in the afterlife. The story focuses on Eleanor, a woman who wakes up after she died and is informed she is in the good place. A place reserved for the best of the best people. And now she will live her afterlife in paradise. Except she's not a good person. It turns out there is a mistake made and that she doesn't belong here in the good place. So being the not so good person that she is, she tries to hide it from pretty much everyone around her while trying to figure out if there's a way she can stay in the good place, despite her bad choices having consequences all around her. While the idea is interesting and it makes for a good comedy for a few episodes, the good place constantly evolves its story with the show seeming to change every episode and especially from season to season. It has big twists that I love, but also smaller twists that keep the show from ever feeling stale. Season three has constantly been changing and evolving, both from the story perspective, but also the world and the characters in just a fascinating way that I don't want to wait till January for the rest of the season. Like, I'm kind of mad that they did that to me. And like, I want to know more, especially now that that thing happened and yeah. It's also a show that defies any sort of category or genre. It is a comedy, yes, with a lot of jokes in each episode, but it's also a drama between all the characters and their interactions and relationships and all that. But it also has this whole supernatural science fiction world with those elements. And even some suspense and excitement along with a touch of romance. Heck, the one episode had an incredible action scene, like one of the best I've seen all year. And this is not an action show. Normally. Like, if I had to pick a single genre, it might be drama, but, but this would just be selling the show short. And even the structure of the story is weird, especially with the character arcs. And I can't think of a single anime, or any show for that matter, that tells the story with the characters like that. Maybe that one, kind of, but not really? There's also all the philosophical themes woven throughout the story on what it means to be a good person. And not through the lens of some heroes or villains like Boku no Hero or Fate. As good as those are, as good as those are, those are the stories about superhumans, whether in name or not, and how they save the world and all that. But The Good Place is much more down to earth. It tells the story of humans. And as much as I love stories about heroes and all that, there's something lost when trying to relate to them or other just extraordinary people. Granted, these aren't exactly normal characters, but they are instead relatable and with some traits taken to the extreme for a comedy. 
and also to like act as a distorted mirror to the viewer. The world itself here has a lot of absurdity to it too, which only makes sense considering they're telling the story of the afterlife in a supernatural world that is beyond the natural laws and natural explanations. These elements are sometimes used just dead comedy, or also some very interesting plot devices, but the plot devices never feel forced or cheap. A great example is the character Janet, who is sort of like an AI assistant to the characters here to help. And while she does know everything and can pull objects out of nowhere whenever she or another character wants, she has her limits. And these limits are sometimes very interesting in how the characters have to work around them for Janet to be able to save the day or help them or whatever. And I also like how optimistic the show is about the world and humanity as a whole. Though this is more of a difference uh, with other Western comedies as opposed to anime. It seems like a lot of the big philosophical shows like Rick and Morty, Bojack Horseman, are very cynical in how they portray society. They are presenting a view that the world is absurd, so laugh at it because nothing matters. But The Good Place comes along agreeing that yes, the world is absurd. And laugh at it, but still embracing it and shows that the characters are growing as people and discovering something that truly matters and is worth living for. It shows a mature, relatable look at the world as opposed to the type of escapism that anime offers as well. So yes, The Good Place is unlike anything else and anything i found in anime for sure. I guess maybe Death Parade kind of comes close with the whole afterlife thing, but they're just so different in concept and feel and development and all that. Yeah, the comparison isn't even close. So yeah, the point of this video isn't just for me to fanboy about The Good Place, though that is definitely part of it. But it's to tell you anime fans that yes, anime is great and I love it, but there are so many other things out there in different mediums that are worth exploring too. If you only watch anime, I feel you'll be missing out on a lot of things you will probably really enjoy. It's not just a good place either that made me think that. I've been watching the late season of South Park and really been enjoying it for its commentary on the culture of today. Especially the episodes about Man Bear Pig, just, they said so much in that. That, that was really cool. And beyond just American media, there is a show on Netflix I've been watching called The End of the Effing World. And no, I'm not censoring myself, that is the actual title. It's another one that I love even though I haven't finished it yet. It's an adventure, romance, told through the lens of the uh, cynical British uh, comedy thing. It's, it's weird and really interesting and I should really finish it soon. So yeah, I'm sure I have a lot more to say about that. I could say more about South Park and yeah. So go try out these different shows. You might be surprised at how much fun you can have and how refreshing it can be to take a step into something different. That's why I would encourage non-anime fans to give anime a try. It's so different. And so by the same token, anime fans, try different things. You might find yourself really interested like I was. And I'm also curious to hear from uh, my viewers. What other non-anime shows do you think I would like? Based off what you know about my taste in anime, how would that translate to other mediums? I'm kind of curious to see uh, what you guys would say. Anyway, thank you for watching and for joining me on the first of the 12 Days of Anime, where I will be back tomorrow to talk about another not-anime thing. But at least this time it's Japan, so I think it still uh, counts. So, once again, thank you for watching, and I will see you all next time.